Hey pearls, anyone else super into spring cleaning right now? We just got our carpets cleaned and it feels amazing, fresh and clean and like we're on top of things. But we're not talking about spring cleaning your house today. We're gonna talk about spring cleaning your finances. We're taking spring cleaning up a notch. Today I'm gonna teach you nine tips for spring cleaning your budget. Over time, even just a few months, your family finances can become out of date, dusty, dirty. You got to deep clean those every once in a while. And if you take the time to occasionally do a cleaning of your finances, you are gonna find ways to save money time and time again. If you're looking to make room in your budget and find ways to save money so you can put it towards your goals and your dreams, you're gonna wanna stick around. Hi guys, I'm Brittany and this is Pennies Into Pearls where I talk all things to help you live your dream life, making small changes in your every day that are gonna have a huge impact on getting you closer and closer to those dreams, those goals, and turn them into action steps that are gonna actually make you get there and show you the path how to do it. If achieving dreams sounds like something you'd like to do, consider hitting that subscribe button. So how often do you take a good look at your budget? It's important to kind of go through everything every once in a while and kind of reevaluate and look for opportunities to cut back or reevaluate your priorities and your goals and see if there's something that needs to be changed to your budget to make sure that your budget is reflecting where you want to go. In my online course, 30 Day Family Finance Rescue, I am always talking about how you need a goal-based budget. And what that means is that everything in your budget is reflecting in some way a path to getting you to those goals and those dreams. So that is so important. And a spring cleaning of your budget is one way that's going to help you make sure that you're doing that. There's nine different areas that I wanna go over with you guys today on where you should be spring cleaning your budget. And make sure that you hang out till the end of this video because I have a completely free printable for you. It's a budget spring cleaning checklist that's so going to go through every single thing that we talk about today and make the process really streamlined and easy for you to take action and get it done. Number one is the white glove test. It's time to metaphorically put on your white gloves and go through your budget and see where there's dust. The biggest danger to your family finances is living outside your means. So take your white glove and go through every item in your budget and make sure that your spending is not exceeding your income. If you are spending more than you're making, go back to the basics, which is just like food, shelter, a reasonable, modest transportation, things like that. Take it back to the basics until you can find different ways to make more room in your budget. Number two. It's time to throw out those bad habits. A successful financial rescue plan depends heavily on your money mentality, meaning the way you think about your money, the way you think about your spending, the way you think about a budget in general has everything to do with how successful your financial action plan is going to be. That's exactly why in 30 Day Family Finance Rescue, it is the very first thing that we dive deep into is tackling what bad habits and what bad attitudes do you need to overcome before we even start talking about the numbers. So while you're spring cleaning your budget, figure out what's one bad habit. Is it um, going out to eat all the time? Is it casually going to the mall because you're bored and you want something to do? What are some bad habits that are affecting your finances? Other things could be procrastination and even poor time management will affect the way you're spending your money because if you don't manage your time well, you're gonna most likely start convenient spending, meaning you're gonna spend more money because you don't have the time to fill in the blank. And of course, relying on debt, growing your debt is a horrible bad habit that we need to get you out of ASAP. Number three, let's do a check-in on your goals. One thing that you need to have, if you don't already, is have a prioritized list of your goals. Just dream big here, get a piece of paper, write down everything that you would like to see accomplished in your life. And sometimes thinking about it in a time frame helps. So where would you like to see you and your family and your lives together in one year, five years, and 10 years? 
breaking it down into those time frames might help you get a better idea of what goals you'd like to achieve. And if you already have that list, great, you're doing awesome. So then what I want you to do is look in through that list and see what progress you're making on these goals. Have you made any progress at all? And if not, what things need to change in your family finances to be sure that you are making action steps towards those goals. Number four, you need to analyze your budget. Again, I know I sound like a broken record here, but your budget is not gonna be successful. You're not gonna feel motivated to stick with it if that budget is not reflecting what your family values most. Make sure that your budget it reflects action steps to get you to those goals. If you find that your budget involves a lot of unnecessary spending, just spending money on random things, lots of unplanned spending, now's a good time to pull back on those reins, get things back in check. One thing I love to do if we like feel like we're kind of um, maybe being a little more relaxed with our spending is to do a spending freeze, also called a no spend or a low spend. I'll have to do more videos on that soon. Which brings me to step number five, reviewing your spending habits. Use an online tracker. There's tons of free ones. Mint.com is one of my favorites. So just track and categorize your spending for the last three months and keep yourself in check with that spending. I know firsthand how easy it can be to let your spending habits kind of like slack off and you get a little bit sluggish, a little bit lazy because when things get more comfortable as you are sticking to your budget, it's easy for you to do things like drive through the drive through more often or just grab a couple extra things when you're at Target. Those little things add up really fast. So reviewing your spending habits, tracking and categorizing over the last three months is going to help make sure that you are sticking to that budget and you're keeping your spending in check. Not only making sure that you're keeping your spending on track, but that you are spending money intentionally where you actually wanna spend it and not just wondering where it went. Step number six is to freshen up your bills. What does that mean? This is one of my favorite things to do. It does require a little bit more time, but going through every single one of your bills, picking up the phone and calling and seeing if there's any discount available on any and every single one of your bills. Also checking to see if there's any new programs or incentives. Sometimes there's new programs based off of your income that might allow you to have some extra savings on those bills. You guys know I'm a cash budget girl. So step number seven has to do with looking through your cash budget specifically. If you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to cash envelope system, check those links down below. I have a video all about it. So take a detailed look over your cash budget. See what's working and what's not. See if there's anything missing on your cash budget that you maybe are overspending in. Cash will help you rein that back in. Cash will help you keep that spending category under control. Now's a good time to look through and see if there's any categories where maybe you continually or consistently are running out of cash every month, or maybe there's a category where you consistently have extra cash. Look through it and adjust and move the cash around to keep things balanced and in check. It might be fun to have a little extra cash in one category every once in a while, but if you're consistently having extra cash, let's be more intentional with that extra cash and maybe create a new cash category that you would like it to go to or apply it to one where maybe you are a little low in the funds every month. Number eight is searching for more opportunities to save. Again, going back to your bills, are there any bills that you have that maybe just quite aren't so necessary anymore? Things like subscription boxes, um, subscriptions to magazines. Are you still paying for cable but you barely ever watch it because you're always on Netflix or Instagram? Look through your bills and things like that, especially reoccurring charges. Look and see if there's any of those that you can totally eliminate and then use that savings to put towards your goals. Number nine is that you've got to find joy. I think I'm probably the last person on earth to watch that show on Netflix, Tidying Up, but She's on to something. Number one, yes, we all need to be organized, but we need to keep things in our lives that are bringing us joy, and that all applies to your budget too. Make sure that in your budget, you are leaving room for things that get you excited, keeps you motivated, and doesn't leave you feeling totally restricted every single day of your life. No one can go on that way for very long. So maybe it's even $10 in your budget. We went through a whole list of things just now of ways that you can rearrange and make sure that your priorities are in there. 
make a priority to have a little bit of fun money in your budget. Even if it's $10 a month, you can do a lot with $10 and have a really fun time. Make sure you're leaving room in your budget for the joy. So how are you feeling? Are you feeling pumped to go through and spring clean your budget? Okay, remember I promised you that free printable that's gonna make this whole process super easy and streamlined for you? Here it is. There's a link in the description box where you can go to my blog and you can print off this free printable and it's gonna take you through every single thing that we went through, but it also has room for you to address what bad habits you have, what are you gonna to do to fix those bad habits, what positive habits are you gonna replace it with, and then also at the bottom is a goal progress report. Because keeping track of the progress you're making on reaching those goals is key to helping your motivation and determination and perseverance a lot of words to keep you going so you actually accomplish those goals so don't forget to go and download your free printable i want you to take action right now and do this don't wait till next week don't wait till next month don't wait till spring break is over go and do this right now i know you can cut out 30 minutes this week. That's all it's gonna take you, 30 minutes to do a spring cleaning on your budget and it's gonna make all the difference and help make sure that your budget is reflecting what your goals are. Well, I don't know if my comments are still turned off, but if they are, you can follow me on Instagram, send me DMs, you can also send me emails anytime. I am here to help. And what I wanna know is what you are gonna do this week to spring clean your budget. Send me a DM, leave me comments down below if you can. I wanna chat with you. I'm really excited to go through the spring cleaning checklist myself and make sure that we're keeping on track to reaching our dreams and our goals and actually being intentional with the way that we're spending and managing our money. Thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.